get ready with me to go to a makeup event. First off, I'm going to start with my hair. I'm going to be using, this is an amazing tool. It's a hairbrush blow dryer, freaking amazing. Game changer for sure. I'm going to do my hair and then I'll meet back so we can do the makeup. Not the most amazing about doing my hair, but that little tool is very helpful. So for the face, I'm gonna start off be, by using these Smashbox primers. I have an illuminating primer and a mattifying primer. I'm gonna focus the mattifying primer mostly on my nose and my T-zone because that is like the area that I do get the most oil. And I am gonna be wearing this makeup for quite a while. I have a bit of a drive. It'll be like a six hour drive. So um, that's like with traffic and everything. So I do need to, to stay on all day. And I know it's gonna be super hot out because I live in the desert. The illuminating primer, we're just gonna go kind of on the around on the outskirt of the face. Just for a little bit of that glow, baby. Mama has massive pores, so I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Primer. I really like this primer, honestly. It really does help to minimize my pores quite a bit because they freaking huge. I'm just taking some one size powder on a little powder puff and just setting the area that I put that pore minimizer. I prime my eyes using the Makeup Forever. This is their camo concealer. Using that same one size powder, I'm just going to give this a nice light powder. For the eyes, I found this beautiful photo on Pinterest. I don't know who this artist is. If you know them, please tag them. I'm going to do this look with black rhinestones instead. Mwah. For this look, I'm using my Abby Roberts Morphe palette. Love this palette, use it all the time. Laying down our first color is going to be blue. I'm blazing through this makeup look. Here's what we're looking like so far. I've got the blue, green, yellow, and orange on so far. And then we're gonna do a pink. My eyeshadow is done for now. We're moving on to the face. I'm gonna be using the HD Makeup Forever Skin Foundation. Just mixing up my own custom shade and I think this looks like a good fit. <laughs> Pack that on with a beauty blender and don't forget the little earsies. My hair pretty much covers up my ears but it's always good to put a little foundation on them just in case they do show through, especially if your ears are red. My hair is giving pastel Elvira for sure. <laughs> for my contour, I'm not really going to contour. I'm just gonna use like a bronzer. I'm just using this bronzing stick from Milk Makeup. It is absolutely amazing and blends really nice into the skin. I just like to do little patting motions to push it into the foundation rather than trying to move it like that because then you're going to hurt the foundation. I'm just gonna conceal with that Makeup A Murder Camo Concealer that we put on our eyelids. We're moving on to our cream blush. This is blush from milk makeup again and this is in the shade quirk i love this color it is very very beautiful using that one size setting powder i'm just going to set the face with that to pack on that bronzing color i'm going in with this morphe fair play palette in this bronzing shade right there and just going over top of that contour that i've already laid down for blush no surprise i'm going in with this tarte blush in seduce this is my favorite and i think that shows <laughs> For the brows, I'm just not sure if I want to do a neon rainbow brow or a pastel pink brow. I am debating, so I guess I should just finish the regular eye makeup. Eyeshadow is done, looking good, I'm going to curl the lashes. For my mascara, I'm going in with the Lottie London mascara. I really like this mascara a lot. At first I was like, wait, what? Because the brush is like, what? <laughs> but honestly, this stuff is awesome and I feel like it really helps to make my lashes really long. Rhinestone time, I got these black, like iridescent looking rhinestones from Amazon a while back and it's perfect for this. All right, I put the other side on just so I can kind of get a grip on how I'm gonna do this. So this is how I do it. I just take a little dot, I'll put like a little dot, oh, that's a massive dot, whatever. And I have my little pencil and I just grab one of my little jewels and I'm gonna pat this off just a little bit. And then boom, it's on. And then you just repeat that all over. Lashes, we're gonna wear some half lashes. These, I got these from Amazon, totally inspired from Katie Farhood. Love that she recommended these because I have hooded eyes, so I don't like to wear a lot of lashes. I also don't like to cut a lot of beautiful, luxurious lashes in half. It just, it hurts, it hurts my soul. So anyway, these are beautiful. <laughs> the difference is extremely subtle but I like it and I can definitely tell the difference. So here is the lash, no lash, lash, lash. Wrong debate about these neon brows, you guys. This is the last thing I have to do. I'm just staring at myself. I'm like, I don't know why I'm debating so hard. I just, I don't know. 
I just don't know if I want to do that. But I decided I'm not going to do neon brows, but I'm going to do rainbow brows, just not so intense. I think that was the issue is that I didn't want it to be so intense. I'm just using some Urban Decay primer to go over top of my brows. This will help to make sure that the eyeshadow really sticks to the brow, but it'll also make sure that everything looks cohesive. I'm going to follow the colors that I have for the eyeshadow. I think that'll look really cool. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am very happy with how that looks. Fuck yeah. For the lippies, I'm not gonna do them now because I have quite the drive and I'm needing to drink lots of water on my way. So I'm going to do my lips when I get there. I already know I'm going to do like a berry shade and just try to do like a blend out so it looks nice and soft and then top it with some Inner Demon lip balm from Makeup or Murder. We are going to seal all of this beautiful work with the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. Love this all nighter setting spray, not primer. But sometimes I do like to use it as a primer though. I need to get myself one of those little automatic fans, but I mean, I do like my little, my little Halloween fan. It's so cute. Oh, Tay, I did such a great time on like my timing for my makeup because I got it done in like an hour and a half. Oh, brilliant. Hair is sprayed. We are ready for our trippy. I got my earrings in. I love these earrings. These are from Blooming Blood. I love them so much. They're amazing. I wonder if she can make them in rainbow too. I need some rainbow chain mail. All right, let's go. I'm so excited. We are about to take off. I put a little piece of tissue right there to hopefully save my makeup. We'll see if that even works or not. Anyways, see you guys in five hours. Bye. Okay, I just arrived. I'm in my car in the carport and I just finished like doing the rest of my makeup. I was like really teary eyed today driving. And honestly, that little tissue thing, it totally worked. Totally worked. Genius. Anyways, I'm waiting for my homegirl to show up and then we're gonna go in. Here's a little fit check. Ooh. Wait, wait, zoom in on the shoes. 